Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's my joy to visit with you again. I want to begin with a special announcement today. From the start of the pandemic, your church council has put the safety of our parishioners first, always keeping in mind the words of John Wesley to do no harm. Therefore, with the COVID-19 infection rates growing at an alarming rate and projected to continue growing, the council executive team has decided to temporarily suspend in-person worship services starting this Sunday, November 29th through January 3rd. At that time, the council will evaluate whether or not the temporary suspension should be extended. Despite worship being closed to attendees, all services will continue to be exclusively live streamed on YouTube, Facebook Live, and the Wesley website. Please know that this decision comes after much careful deliberation and earnest prayer. Our executive team uh, prays God's blessing on each of you and your family during this holiday season. For my devotion today, I want to begin by saying Happy Thanksgiving. While everyone is pausing to give thanks, enjoying a special meal and connecting with loved ones, I want to look ahead to Sunday. Sunday begins the season of Advent, that time of year where the church anticipates the coming of Christ. I love the beauty of the season. Monday morning, your sanctuary was transformed by nine of us into a beautiful space that we'll enjoy throughout December. That's why I'm in the sanctuary today, so you can see the altar and the tree and the angel behind me. We put all the decorations up to help enhance the season that will uh, allow us to celebrate again the birth of Christ. I can't wait for Sunday and for this journey to begin with you. You know, hope is such a key part of Advent, and especially in 2020. Our hope is not based on wishful thinking, but on a deep conviction that hundreds of years ago, God broke into history fulfilled the prophecy of the Messiah, and we receive the greatest gift of all time. And that in the midst of darkness and imperfection, we hope. In the midst of a pandemic, we hope. In the midst of a year unlike any other, we hope. We hope in a special child to come, that God is among us, and that soon we will see a new creation on earth. We hope because the prophet's words were fulfilled. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. So join us online this Sunday morning as we begin Advent as a people of hope. A people of hope because God is with us. A people of hope that know that the one who was born in Bethlehem has set things right once and for all. A people of hope because we're not alone. We have each other. And that is such a tremendous source of strength and encouragement too. Let the journey begin. Amen. I have several special announcements uh, about Wesley Church and up upcoming activities. Um, our Poinsettia order forms uh, are due to the office uh, no later than um, Sunday, November 29th. Um, you can put them in the drop box uh, or drop by the office. Uh, we need to have those uh, by Sunday. The order forms uh, are in the bulletin. Our Advent experience uh, this year is centered around uh, Adam Hamilton's book, Not a Silent Night. Um, there is a copy or two available in the office, uh, and you can drop by and pick it up, or you can pick up your own copy uh, online. Uh, they're readily available. And we're also trying, at, as we speak, uh, to realign ourselves with these changes and see if we can take uh, Jeff Miller's study and turn it into a Zoom meeting. And uh, we'll follow that up with an email if we can work out the details. The Join Hands and Concora Christmas projects are going very well, and I thank everyone for your participation uh, in helping um, spread some Christmas cheer. 
Please make sure that all gifts and diapers are returned to the church not later than December 6th. Well, thank you for visiting with me, and let's close this time together with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, on this day of thanks, we give you thanks for life itself, for your love and care and provisions. We give you thanks for family and loved ones, neighbors and coworkers. We especially give you thanks as we begin this Advent season for sending us your Son and the hope he brings into our lives. We pray today for the sick and for those who are caring for the sick. We pray for the hope a vaccine brings and for its quick delivery across the globe. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, my friends, thank you for visiting with me today. We'll do it again soon. May the peace of God be with you. Stay strong and stay safe.